Welcome to Planet Hublot. <laughs> you know what? Hi, Jeremy. How are you going? How are you doing, Angel? What's well, going I, on? I'm just standing between yeah. Marcus's legs, well, looking down at him. This is this is quite romantic, we're actually. We're kind of on top of the world here. Chin. Anyway, Marcus, I <laughs> want to talk to you and all of you about Hublot because the elephant in the room is that what Hublot have done this year is exactly what they are renowned for and exactly why they're controversial and exactly why they draw so many detractors. Lots they of detractors. have been bold, Jeremy. They're always bold, but they don't care. Hey, you know what? That's it. You stole my line. I was about to say, <laughs> hey, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? <laughs> I was about to say, despite what you think, Hublot doesn't care what you think. Hublot is an enormously successful watch brand that boldly beg, borrow and steal from whomever and whoever they want and they just keep getting bigger. This, this flaming ball of, of creativity has dropped another bomb and it's just over here. Shall we walk? Yeah, let's walk. Let's take a walk okay. this way. Jeremy, you haven't said a damn word yet. What would you like <laughs> to say about Hublot? Because you stole my thunder and I thought, I'm going to talk or are you going to steal more of it? Well, I was just here to steal your thunder. I mean, all I can say is just trying on the pieces too. Everything that's newly released. I mean, they're, they're definitely breaking boundaries. They don't care. They continue to show that they don't care what anyone thinks. Yeah. And I love it. That's what's great about them. So, Jeremy, obviously, you've probably <laughs> seen my ugly face on God knows how many Hublot videos over the years. I, I would say that at least eight videos I've done <laughs> capturing Hublot. And I've never quite been as specific as that. But this is your first year. And I want you to tell me what you think of the Square Bang Unico, because this is, to me, personifies what people either say, I love that or I hate that about Hublot. What, what do you think? It's the Square Bang Unico, as soon as I put that on my wrist, I absolutely loved it. It was solid. Legit? I did. Okay. I did. Um, I'm not a big ceramic person. I'm, I'm a very heavy metal feeling guy who loves presence on my wrist. I put that on, I felt like an action hero. See, there are, there's a ceramic version, there's a titanium version, there's a king gold version. They all have different bezels and they have different wrist feel. But so for a 42 millimeter watch, which this is, it looks huge. And that's because of the shape. Tell me, how does it wear, Jeremy? When I put it on, <laughs> it looked bigger holding it on, but as soon as it was on the wrist, it hugs your wrist, it's comfortable, and definitely doesn't wear the way it looks at all. So some specs for you, 42 millimeters squared, which is why it's that big shape, 14.7 millimeters thick. So definitely a hefty piece on the wrist, as you'll see from our video, probably the B-roll is going now, mm -hmm. quick release straps, and the complication, we have the classic Hublot Unico, which is a flyback chronograph. One click of the pusher and you're back to the start recording whatever start. you're doing. You, your boiled eggs or your, your 100 meter race <laughs> or, or your kids in timeout, which is all I use my flyback for. <laughs> I just go bang, you're going back in, back in and bang, you're going back in. Okay, but it's not all about hip squareness. It's nope. also colored ceramic and Orlinsky. And are we gonna talk about the spinny one? The should, Murakami, right? we are. But before we do, I want to show you something else. Do you see this, Marcus? Can you catch that? I was being narcissist before, just just looking at myself in this water, and I could see these vibe. I sounded like David Attenborough, and I could see these vibrations appearing on the water. As you can see, nothing is happening. As soon as I go to point it out, it disappears. This is <laughs> bringing in Jeremy. So we're going to wait here patiently for the next ripple. But this is a typical Hublot display. We have an interplanetary, cosmic, epic vibe. We're bringing with, you into their Hublot world. Exactly. With a little, oh, oh. there's something. A little rip. It's, oh. Whoa! That's just so Hublot. <laughs> I just think everything's Hublot with this booth. Let's move on, let's Jeremy. Go. We got distracted, but I'm like a kid here. <laughs> Next one, let's talk about the color ceramics. Sure. So. Where do you want to start? Oh, the one that I really liked out of all of them so far was the beige. Let's talk about the colors. That surprised me. The rainbow's there, and Jeremy's let the spinning wheel land on beige. But they are. There's beige. There's sky blue. There's green. green. And then there was indigo. So which one did you get most excited about with that delicious skin tone of yours? Yeah, delicious skin tone. <laughs> That's true. Say, I'm sorry. I'd say there were two. Just want to eat it up, man. Out of, out of all the four <laughs> options, the, the two were the beige, and also the green actually popped for me. So. They're all the Big Bang Integral that you know and hopefully love. I was there when they launched this watch and I called it a huge step forward because finally we could have a Big Bang head on a bracelet. Yep. And now that's been adapted to ceramic. All ceramic. Now, what is cool about this bracelet is just the number of facets and the way that it gives you 
play off the wrist. It's extraordinary. Very comfortable too. So it's 42 millimeters in diameter and 13.5 in millimeters on the wrist. And also, of course, carries that Unico flyback. Yes, it does. Recording the kids <laughs> back in the room. <laughs> What's next, man? Next up, we got the Classic Fusion Orlinski Bracelet. Yeah, you, you just want to rest on your laurels because you got the name out right. Let me talk about this. <laughs> I only properly discovered the Orlinski when I went to Hublot last year, just for a little cup of tea. I yep. just dropped in, I wasn't shooting, I wasn't doing any any anything important. I just went to Neon and, and they brought out these Orlinski Classic Fusions. The thing about this watch that really I think is singular, and whenever we put it up, people just say, I've never really seen that, mm -hmm. is that it has this faceted asymmetrical case that extends to to beyond the case and the case yep. itself has the same facets and now the bracelet the bracelet it fascinated me i, I put it on I did, did you like did you 50... mean that pun it fascinated me it fascinated needed me it's highly fascinated <laughs> it fascinated it's me. highly <laughs> fascinating <laughs> it's pretty late in the fair by the way guys <laughs> but when i put it on i did like 50 wrist rolls because i mean you kind of get lost into not only the dial but the bracelet and yeah. what it looked like for me when we were shooting it and having light shine on it. You ever see a movie clip when the Whoa. movie, the sun comes out and then you have the mountains that kind of light up. Yes, they go the, from, the, the individual they sides. They go from each terrain to terrain. That's yes. exactly what that watch did for yes. me. It looked like the mountains just lit up when the sun came out. I call it a ping, ping, ping. Ping, ping, ping. Yeah, do you want to know why? Because one of those bracelets is as you roll it, it just goes ping, ping, ping. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about specs. It is 40 millimeters. It is 11.1 millimeters thin. It's very comfortable. And it is going to get you some comments. Would you like some comments? Then you should buy this watch. Righto, Jeremy, it's time. We're talking about the Spirit of Big Bang Turbion 5-Day Power Reserve, a name that gives you no hint of what this watch offers. No hint at all, and it's quite the toxic looking watch it's yeah looks like it's been ingrained with kryptonite for a superhero or yeah. maybe incredible hulk something yeah. radioactive yep i will tell you this though putting it on you kind of feel like a superhero did you notice from all my videos you see a veiny wrist <laughs> but i think it might be from the watch i don't know such what do you a, think such a good wrist look i uh think it's 42 millimeters and 13.25 okay. thick yeah. so Despite, I mean, it, but it's it's sort of a, it's a, how do I say this? It's like a daunting look, isn't it? The shape of the Spirit of Big Bang is is certainly not designed to be, you know. It's not discreet not at all. Not discreet at all. Not discreet. Yep. You kind of feel like you're on a mission to do something with that piece. Because, the, and that's exactly <laughs> it. Like when you put this thing on, there's so much wrist contact with the, the shape of yep. the case. But you were wearing it. I man. was. What's funny you tell though, me. what's funny is it, it, it looks daunting, but it still wears very well, very yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Sat on the wrist. What perfectly. would you wear something this wild with? This is. I look at this and think, that's not a suit watch. I would <laughs> probably wear it to go work out to the gym to on an adventure. I'd even really? wear it to a party with a funky outfit. Yeah, yeah, to nice. Pop a color, maybe a blazer. I'll do it. Okay, that's yeah, why cool. you get it though. That's it. I mean, you get it knowing you're going to have something pop. Exactly. Jeremy. Andrew. I got a watch to meet your toxic green monster. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You ready for bring this? It, bring it, bring it's it. It's gonna spin you out. It's, it's, just, you. it's the Murakami <laughs> Sapphire Rainbow, which is a 45 millimeter watch with a spinning dial. Yes. In, in all the colors of the rainbow. Definitely a rainbow. That yeah. was filled with rainbowness, I gotta tell you. What, what's that like <laughs> to play with? Um, did, did you just wanna like, cause I, I asked wanted, you to do it and you kind of were just mesmerized. I kind of just wanted to spin it for the rest of the day. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever check the time on that. <laughs> Can you, is there, is there any time to play on it? <laughs> there is, Yeah. but I'd rather watch it spin the whole time. Okay. It's very beautiful. And in case you're wondering, 12 petals set with 384 colored gemstones. So yeah. why are you bringing this up? It's sold out. Because the 100 lucky buyers of the Murakami Sapphire Rainbow just had something drop in their inbox. There's a link to their Murakami made NFT. Wow. And that's just like a freebie. It is a freebie. And that, NFTs like, have, are blowing up right now. I know. And <laughs> it's this is a proper Murakami NFT. So I, again, Hublot bringing surprise, bringing delight, bringing interplanetary destruction to the comment section everywhere. I love coming to Hublot. There is nothing more authentic 
than Andrew walking past going, I'm going in to see what world they've created this year. Yep. You can hate it all you want. And then like Jeremy said, they don't care. Exactly. Thank you, Hublot, for giving us some joy, Thank giving you. us some love and giving us all this weirdness. We love it.